Hey, Jay, I want to tell you something. I, I, I'm awful glad you got over here with me because I happen to be a real expert on wild animals. Oh, you are? That's right. You, That's uh, not a sheep. No, no, that is, is a, that? Uh, that happens to be a rhesus baboon, you see. How do now you spell these, that? Uh, spelt with an R, I think. I'm not too sure. Uh, no, a C. Hey, he, look, he, he, he's yeah. talking to you. Hey, I, <laughs> he I think I'll hi, throw, cousin. I think I'll throw him a cigarette. No, you don't do oh, that. Oh, they smoke like the devil. No, they don't either. You want to watch this? Look out, you're upsetting it. Let me throw one of them to him. There you are. See there? They don't dig my brand, Jay. Listen, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, we don't smoke around I here. I wasn't smoking. I'm feeding those moo-moo big... Uh, they're from Algeria, by the way. Did you know oh, that? Oh, I don't think they're you know cli what they're uh, talking about. cliff climbers. They certainly are. Look at there. Look at him hold on. <laughs> Look at that. I'd like to you? introduce you to Mr. Fred Stark, who was the director of the San Antonio Zoo. Uh, was Packer even close in what he was talking about? Mr. Well, uh, they are wild sheep from Africa. These are the Audads or Barbary sheep, and they come from desert regions. There have been a lot of them imported into the United States, and. Uh, they're putting them on various game farms and ranches as game animals. They're good hunting. They're hard to shoot because they're very wiry. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, now, you've got, I noticed the monkey or the baboon or whatever it is. You keep them all together here? Uh, we have a gelato baboons and these uh, audads on the island together. They're working out perfect. They go in swimming together. They like water. And the baboons are very fond of some of these sheep. Uh, they ride them quite often, and the sheep don't mind. They even look in the mouths of the sheep to see their teeth and things of that type and work out perfect. Do they ever fight over their food? Uh, very, very seldom. However, the sheep do like to take the food away from the baboons, and the baboons like to take it away from the sheep. <laughs> it's kind of a kind of family-type situation. Well, were all of these sheep born here at the zoo? All of them but one. And, and I the baboons are the gelato baboon from Africa. I don't know but one other group of uh, gelato baboons in a colony in America. Uh, we have had good luck. We were the first zoo in America that had gelato baboons reproduce. Well, how many of the baboons were born here? Uh, there's only been three of these that were born here. The others we purchased this last spring. There's one baby that was born here less than two weeks ago. I guess it's a pretty exciting event around the zoo when you have a birth of that kind. That's right, yes, you, sir. You have someone uh, watching them all the time when you know it's about time? Well, not necessarily. We've found that the further away from them you stay at that time, the better. Just leave them alone and, yes, and, and they take care of things themselves. That's right. Mr. Fred Stark, this is most interesting. Thank you for giving us your time.